All right, so Datacore here, I think, of the three Half-Life Deathmatch into um, Opposing Force uh, Deathmatch maps included with the game, this one uh, benefited the least. That doesn't mean that I think they made it worse or anything like that. I just feel like, you know, when you boot camp benefited quite a bit and Gasworks, as we'll see, actually tremendously benefited. Um, this one is more or less roughly the same. I would say just on a hunch that it actually is slightly better just because, you know, there's more weapons to use and the weapons they swapped out are like just work better. But you're not you're not missing out too much if you're just playing this in default Half-Life, which, you know, you're not missing out on any of these maps if you're playing in default Half-Life because, you know, it's Half-Life Deathmatch. How can you go wrong? All right. So as you're going to see right away, you got an SMG if you start right here. Everyone's favorite. Uh, but you're going to see right away, you got a knife here. And I like whoever was responsible for uh, taking these deathmatch maps and putting them into opposing force. They always stick the knife like this into like the ground or like the table or whatever so you can see it easily. It's a nice artistic touch. You got a grenade down here, of course, as well, obviously, the health charger. Uh, your satchels are still there. I mean, your claymores are still there. Uh, you still got things up there. I know you got the rocket still, but I haven't actually been up here recently to see if there's anything new. I'll take a peek after I've done everywhere else. Uh, let's go this way first. Uh, you got some, um, you got a revolver here, which is nice. I mean, not a revolver magnum. I just, I don't know weapon names. Just disregard everything. Um, if you go this way, you still got some, uh, ammo on this little thing here. I guess one little grenade, uh, SMG, like, bundle there. Uh, going this way though, there's some nice differences down here because in this little nook you got the wrench and uh, What are you guys doing? Why aren't you Why aren't you killing each other? What's going on? I I'm very confused. They're like doing a little da interpretive dance Why is it Ho Hold on. All right. I think now they figured out what they're supposed to be doing here. There you go. They're still acting a little odd, but... More so, I don't know why this guy isn't trying to blast this dude away with the fucking machine gun. I mean, the guy with the, uh, like, the, um... Shock roach. Shock roach, that's what it's called. It figured it out. But anyway, enough of that. So you got your health charger there still, and, uh, you got some SMG grenades down there. So let's go back this way real quick. To the side area with the gauze. Which is still the gauze, but as you'll see there... They've added in some of the uh, little spore feeds. I don't know what you want to call that. Spore pods? Because I know, I know the spore launcher lots is the pods or the, the cores or whatever. But, you know, I never actually figured out what the name of the ammo is. Anyway, so you'll see here that um, the um, hive hand was replaced with the shock trooper. Or the shock roach, as I just I figured out. Which is probably for the best because this thing actually is a little bit more fun to use, all things considered. Even without the homing ability. Alright, so coming this way, yeah, you still got the uh, RPG and the uh, charger up there if you have the long jump or if you just gauze jump. Up to you. I'll just do that, actually. I'll do it successfully. There we go. Yeah, good stuff. In this little nook now, obviously, the crossbow has been replaced with the sniper rifle. You got a uh, shotgun there, always good, and this leads us back around to the starting area. Let me... I just suck at everything. Can I... Please! I give up on everything. There's things up there, go get them. I'm just, I'm a complete troglodyte. I need to go, like, put, soak my head in a bathtub that's acidified by the shock roach. There is a... Um, Magnum there, as you saw. So in this area is where you'll find the spore. And, you know, there's always some good times to be had here. Especially with the spore launcher right here. Uh, don't stick around too long in this little enclosed area. Because you're probably going to get blown up. Obviously, if you don't know, the uh, ladder here leads up to the little, like, reception area. So be, be careful if someone didn't lay, like, a claymore or something there for you. Now, the long jump is still up here, as it was beforehand. I don't believe... I don't remember them adding anything new to this top area. I think... I, oh, yeah, 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 this is here. There's a, two of these here. I thought there was only the one near the uh, machine gun, but no. You get another wrench if that's your thing. I know it's my thing. It's my scene. Anyway, you got the blow... You got a satchel there. You got your health kit. Mostly the same. Just some, like, you know, nice pistol ammo there. 
And, uh, I think that's really about it. Like I said, not too much has changed, so, like, between the original version and, um, this revamped version. It's mostly the same. Still fun to play. You know, it just, it, it's not, like, a revelation like, you know, Gasworks is, and it's not quite as, like, you know, upgraded as, um, Boot Camp is. But, you know, I'm glad it's here. You know, it's it's a nice little improvement, or improvements wrong word. It's a nice little rendition. Let's go with that. And man, you know, I just realized I've talked about that. This is the fourth video I've done on this exact same map. I mean, technically, um, it's only the third because the one of the videos was for the PS2 version of the map that's in like obviously Half-Life PS2. But still, that's just a kind of sort of cut down version of the map. Theoretically, it's the same exact map still. So like, fuck me. I mean, I'm not. I don't mean to talk about like the same maps over and over again. But it's just the nature of doing a map video series. I mean, you could argue that technically doing the Team Fortress Classic videos are kind of unnecessary, but you know, they weren't to me because people played th these maps in Half-Life, I mean, Team Fortress Classic. So it really makes sense. F I, I love the fire sound of this, by the way. It's not even that loud or violent, but it's just inherently satisfying in a way I can't explain. It just, it sounds right. Sorry, Goku. Oh my goodness! I am just fucking dominating with this thing. I am one in the same with this fucking rifle. I love this thing so much. 360 no scope! 360 no scope! No scope! Okay, oh fuck. Oh, I got my revenge coming though, it's all good. What are you doing? Now you're dead. That's why you don't look, go into the corner voluntarily. You only do that when you've been in timeout. And, uh, yeah, uh, posing for some um, data core. It's still great. That's really all I need to say.